Hello everybody! In today's video, you'll see how to reset BIOS and how to remove a password on a desktop PC or laptop. If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you'll be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. Resetting BIOS could be a useful skill for users who like to experiment with its settings and if something goes wrong or the computer doesn't work at all, rolling back to factory settings could be the best way out. Also, if you need to remove a password protecting BIOS from unauthorized access, resetting BIOS is just the way to go. If you modified some BIOS settings and believe that certain issues in the work of your computer have been caused by those changes, the easiest way to solve the problem would be to reset BIOS. In this video, we are going to show you step-by-step -step how to restore BIOS to factory defaults and what to do if there is a password that prevents you from gaining access to these basic settings. Before resetting BIOS, though, you have to know exactly why you do it. Here are some of the situations when restoring BIOS defaults is a must. If you need to remove the password to enter BIOS, or the password required to continue with booting the operating system, if the computer can't work properly, if the operating system can't boot, if you changed BIOS setup configuration, but you are not sure if you did everything right. First of all, let's find out how to reset the password in the BIOS settings. This method can be used if there is no need to enter a password to open BIOS so you can access BIOS setup easily. To open the BIOS interface, press one of the buttons F1, F2, F8 or Delete, depending on your motherboard model, within a few seconds of starting the computer. Usually, the necessary button is shown at the bottom of the screen when you start the computer. If you hit the right button, the setup menu should appear on your screen. Look for a reset option with a name like Load Default BIOS, Reset to Default, Factory Default, Setup Defaults or Load Optimized Defaults. Usually, you can find it in the Exit section. Just select this item and press Enter, and then confirm your actions by clicking OK. It will make the computer restart and the BIOS settings will be restored to default values. If, for some reason, you can't get into the BIOS interface or find a certain item, let's see what can be done. The method described below requires removing a cover of the system unit to access the motherboard. So if you bought a desktop PC or laptop just recently, remember that in many countries opening the system unit and breaking the warranty seal will make you lose the warranty. And if there is no warranty warning seal on the system unit of your computer and don't hesitate to open the cover. This way, you can reset BIOS and also remove the password protecting its settings and the password required to continue with booting the operating system. There are several ways of doing it. By replacing the jumper on the motherboard, uh, by pressing a special button or just taking out the battery supplying power to the corresponding chip. Let's start with the battery. Power off the computer, and if it's a laptop, disconnect it from the power adapter and remove the battery. Now, remove a cover of the system unit or the bottom cover if it's a laptop to access the motherboard. You need to find the battery which powers the CMOS memory. Take it out of its socket carefully and put it back after 10 or 15 minutes. Now, BIOS should be reset to factory defaults. In laptops, the CMOS battery may sometimes be connected to the motherboard with wires and a special connector or even be soldered in place. If it is connected with wires, unplug the corresponding connector from the motherboard. If the battery is soldered, don't try to move it, but use a safer approach. If your laptop is a modern one, there are chances you wouldn't have to remove any covers or take out those tiny screws. Turn the laptop upside down and have a close look at the bottom to check if there is a marking saying CMOS. If you see one, there must be a hole next to it. Take a straightened paper clip or something similar and stick it into that hole. Then hold it for about 10 seconds. On the motherboard, next to the battery, you can see the CLRTC jumper. By default, it closes contacts 1 and 2. 
To reset bias, you need to replace the jumper so it closes contacts 2 and 3. Here is an important piece of advice. All these steps should be taken only after the computer is powered off and the power cable is disconnected from the power socket. When the jumper is set to the new position, press the power button on the system unit and hold it for 10 to 15 seconds. The computer will not start, remember, you have just disconnected from the electric socket. But this action will clear the BIOS settings. Now you can put the jumper back to its proper position, put back all the parts you removed and turn on the computer. In the screen you can see some of the names used to mark such contacts. Some other boards may only have two contacts next to one of these abbreviations. If that's your case, you can reset BIOS by closing these contacts with anything that can serve as a conductor. But make sure the computer is powered off and disconnected from the power outlet. For example, one of the things you can use is a screwdriver. You can find more detailed information about using the jumper to reset BIOS in the setup settings in the user manual for your motherboard. By the way, premium motherboards often feature a special button for this function. It's usually marked as clear CMOS. If you can see such button on your motherboard, just press it to restore default BIOS values, then put the computer together and power it on. Summing up, I'd like to know that uh, some laptop models have one more type of non-volatile memory, which cannot be powered off using conventional methods and the only way is visiting a service center. As you must have noticed in this video, to access the battery or certain contacts, you will have to take the laptop apart. And there is a very helpful video tutorial in our channel, so we can watch it by following the link below. Here is one more important thing if you are dealing with a laptop. If you close the contacts, then put everything together but BIOS wasn't restored to defaults. Here is what you should do. Close the contacts and keep them that way. At the same time, plug the power cable into the laptop and turn it on for 20 to 30 seconds. Then turn the laptop off, break the contact and see if this trick helps you to reset BIOS. And that is all for now. I hope this video is useful for you. Remember to click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Push the bell button to receive notifications and never miss new videos. Leave comments to ask questions. Thank you for watching and good luck!